Welcome to day one of U.S. government class. Our learning target today is to define government and to identify one of the purposes of government. This circle right here is a world. There's only one person that lives in this world and her name is Ashley. Ashley is the only person who lives in this world. Whatever action Ashley takes, it will never have a positive or negative impact on anyone else. She can do whatever she wants to, whenever she wants to, however she wants to do it. She has complete freedom. Ashley's favorite activity in this world is to juggle flaming batons. She is a beginner and isn't particularly good at it. This fact does not matter. Why is that? Because Ashley is the only person who lives in her world. Her erratic juggling can only ever impact herself. This is a new world. This world has one resident and that is Ben. Like Ashley, Ben's actions have neither a positive nor a negative impact on anyone else. Ben also has complete freedom to do whatever he wants to do whenever and however, wherever he wants to do it. Ben's favorite activity is to play with volatile gases such as hydrogen. Ashley's and Ben's world now overlap. In that area of overlap, Ben and Ashley's actions can have a positive and negative impact on each other. I'm sure you can predict what the negative impact might be. It takes little imagination nor a degree in physics to know that playing with fire near volatile gases could be hazardous to one's health. What could Ben and Ashley do to prevent these negative impacts from occurring? Ashley and Ben agreed to basically refrain from their favorite activities. Ashley agrees to give up the jugging of family, flaming batons and Ben agrees not to play with hydrogen where their worlds overlap. Why would they voluntarily agree to give up their freedom to do whatever they want, whenever and wherever they want to? Because in return, they'll get safety. Or in government ease, we call this to ensure the domestic tranquility. We refer to this pact this agreement, this contract between Ashley and Ben as a voluntary association. They both willingly, without outside influence, consented to limit their freedom. In return, they received safety. Ashley and Ben have modeled for us one of the three powers of government. What did Ben and Ashley do? They made a law. Unfortunately, voluntary associations always lead to anarchy. Anarchy is a state of being where everyone has complete freedom to do whatever they want to do. Basically, where we started when Ashley and Ben were living in their own worlds. Why will Ashley and Ben's agreement ultimately break down and lead to a state of anarchy? Because there is no one to enforce the law. There is actually an incentive for Ashley and Ben to break the law. The incentive is by breaking the law, Ashley will get to do her favorite activity, and Ben will get to do his favorite activity. If Ashley or Ben should purposely or accidentally violate their agreement, the other member will choose to do it, to choose to violate it as well. There is another function that separates a government from a voluntary association. Let's suppose Ben ditches hydrogen and takes up methane as his new favorite gas. Ashley is going to take up juggling cattle prods. The negative outcome would be the same but they would still be abiding by the letter of their agreement. What else do governments do that would prevent this tragedy? They interpret the law. So let's review. What are the three powers of government? The power to make laws, the power to enforce laws, and the powers to interpret laws, which can mean to decide whether someone's intent violated the law and to determine what actions in particular violate the law. What functions of government separated from voluntary association? Governments also enforce laws and interpret laws. Why do people give up freedom in order to establish government? Or what do people give up in order to establish government? I gave away the answer. They give up freedom or liberty. 
What is one purpose of government? To provide safety, or you could say to ensure domestic tranquility. How does government get its power? From the people who willingly give it up, give up their freedom. The founding fathers of this country came up with a few more reasons why people would be willing to give up freedom to establish government. Establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty. So, how do we define government? Government is a system of institutions that make, enforce, and interpret laws. Moving forward, we will look in particular at those different institutions and how they actually apply these particular powers.